Hi kids, just another book update. Um, today I have a school bus driver from the Black Lagoon, written by Mike Thaler and illustrated by Jared Lee. We're getting a new bus driver this morning. His name is T-Rex Fenderbender. I wonder if the T stands for Tyrannosaurus. Eric heard that he's a really cruel bus driver and drives the magic ghoul bus. And Derek heard he lets his guide dog do most of the driving. So if he has a guide dog, he might be blind. When you get on the bus, T-Rex tells you all of the things he doesn't allow. No fighting, no shouting, no gum chewing, no eating, no dancing, no sneezing, no wheezing, no coughing, no humming, no twitching, no whining, no talking, no listening, no blinking, no smelling, no inhaling, or no exhaling. Hmm. Then he tells you that your seat cushion can be used as a flotation unit in the unlikely event of a water landing. The kids say that sometimes T-Rex drives like he's in the Indy 500. So the Indy 500 is NASCAR race, so that means he drives really fast. Or the Demolition Derby. So he doesn't care where he's going, he's just plowing through everybody. When he's not practicing for the monster truck show, driving to school can be a real drag. And when he puts on his helmet and shouts, let's see what this baby can do, you'll wish you hadn't eaten breakfast. I really hope your bus drivers don't drive like this. I heard he collects stop signs and parking meters. He thinks the school bus is an off-road vehicle and that you're less likely to hit another car if you're on the sidewalk. He not only stops at all railroad tracks, he drives on them. Getting there is not half the fun. Look at the conductor. His face is like, ah. Freddie says that if there's a flat, we have to change the tire. I wonder who knows how to change a flat tire. If the engine breaks down, we have to fix it. And he makes us pay for the gas out of our lunch money. Randy says sometimes he gets lost and won't ask for direction until you're on the boondocks. The boondocks are like the middle of nowhere. Eventually, they say, you make it to school. But he doesn't stop. You have to jump out while he's moving. Uh-oh, there's the bus. It's stopping for me. The door's opening. Hey, he doesn't look so bad. I guess he left his dog at home today. He smiles and lets me sit up front. Then he closes the door, turns off the flasher, pulls in the stop sign, and slowly drives away. He doesn't look too scary, does he? Kind of looks fun. Boy, I wish she'd go faster. I've never been in the Indy 500. The end. Um, I really hope your bus drivers don't drive like the Tyrannosaurus Rex from the story. And I really hope that you guys are having an awesome time on your, on your time off. Um, I really miss you and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.